So cute and innocent, aren't they? No, not my dog. I'm not talking about her. I'm talking about those things. She thinks they're interesting. She is done pulling feathers from them, but they are really cool. She thinks anyway. Lila, you being a good girl. Yeah, you being good. Oh. <laughs> it's my daughter Keely and Precious, who's a new mommy of Labrabol puppies. She herself is a Labrabol and she had puppies with the neighbor dog who is American Pitbull. He is a red nose. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a chicken. Anyway, the chicken struck back. I found Samantha and the black one snacking away in the garden. And so I went ahead and re-sewed that whole baby pool again. That one. See what they did? How nice it looked yesterday versus today. And they made their way in there. They were scratching in the little baby pool over there. And look what the mess they made in here. So... I re my cucumbers in this pool. I am hoping, by the looks of it, that they didn't get into my bush beans. So I was mad. I just clipped the black one's feathers this morning, and I know all the buff Brahmas got their wings clipped because I've caught them in here and chased them out several times. So we caught them while they were here in the garden, and we clipped them right here. And so I spent at least two hours chicken proofing this garden. I crawled in this tiny space, if you can see, back over there where I have to crawl in to go get the hose. There's a little gap that leads down here. I crawled in down here, found scrap pieces of decking and some of the full pallet, uh, the comp particle board pallets I cut up, screwed those to the posts, screwed them together, went behind there, stapled the chicken wire to the boards and to these raised beds all the way around. Then back here behind the ladder, I took some pallet boards and scissored them to some two by fours and other decking boards that I found underneath there, took pieces and scissored them together like that and stapled the heck out of it on this side so they can't push through anymore. I found a hole up there that I covered with the board and I found this piece of railing that's supposed to go there, there. So if the chickens do get up on the porch, they can't come walk down here or, you know, fly down here or whatever. Uh, they can't. So this is war chickens. This is war. You want to play? I'm game. I found these tiki torch posts and drove them in right here and I found a third post that I am going to end up putting there too because there's still a small gap but I'm done with all that today for now I got this board that I could put there and put that little wheelbarrow in front of there eventually I think that that little wheelbarrow would make uh, a cute planter but it's serving purpose right now for trash and to barricade that gap in the gate because when we put these posts in they put the bucket on the John Deere tractor over there and just push these posts down we didn't have a we didn't use a fence post driver even though we got one and it's gonna be kind of hard to drive a post right here as it is that's why I have the bungee straps to hold the door and then that piece of concrete whatever you want to call it right there to keep it shut so I am striving my hardest. It looks like they got into that container, which I did plant bush beans in. I don't know how far down they dug. That's a lot more settled and a lot farther composted than that stuff. So I kind of got myself set up for a corner bed over here now. So if I, can, if I get more boards and I, I just like make a little corner bed right here I can have that it does kind of get shady right here though but you know, there's still lots of stuff you can plant with a bit of shade that's not an issue uh, so I'm excited 
I am so excited. I feel like I am winning the war here. <laughs> Fingers crossed, knock on wood. <sighs> so I just wanted to share this with you before I watered these freshly sowed in seeds again. And I've been getting, I also wanted to share something else with you. I've been getting blossom end rot. I'm not gonna lie, I am new at the raised bed type deal. And I'm finding that I have to water more often than I used to versus planting in ground, especially in these kind of situations because they just don't hold, you know, they don't hold as much moisture. Um, I've been doing the chop and drop method to help compost and mulch that I've been getting blossom end rot. And so one of the ways that I am combat, com, combating, combating that is taking into consideration of watering more it's the it's you know the full swing of summer going on i mean granted the past few days have been cool but i'm getting blossom and rot second way i'm doing it is i'm saving my eggshells crushing them and soaking them in just a little bit of vinegar for about three to four days and then mixing all that in water and then i watered them in another way i am doing it is i am saving my eggshells and used coffee grounds and putting them on top for fertilizer coffee spent coffee grounds are high in i want to say potassium fact check me if i'm wrong about that but i'm thinking it's potassium oh, so it's been a long arduous past couple days dealing with these darn chickens these bad chickens and they're lucky they're cute and they lay tasty eggs or i'd kill them and eat them but that's going to happen with one of the roosters so i'll go through the rooster names now this is blondie i know these buff brahma ladies apart because i could tell by one how much feathers they have by the roosters because they do that to the chickens um that's the buff brahma rooster right there that's a buff brahma lady they are supposed to be hardy winter layers according to the murray mcmurray hatchery book that right there is, let me see, Samantha. She has a little black dot on her, on her chest, and so she's easier to tell apart than Betsy. They're missing about the same amount of feathers. Freckles right there, I don't know what breed she is, is walking next to Food, who I don't know what kind of breed that is either. And I don't know where Kim is. She's a little snarly looking red and white uh, chicken. One of the smaller ones, a Bantam. And when Lila first got introduced to the chickens, she did tear quite a few feathers out of Kim. My daughter named half of these chickens, not me. <laughs> but it's better than the black one. Come on. What kind of naming skills is that? <laughs> so I'm glad you got to meet the flock. And yeah, she looks like she might want to pounce on them, but I've been leaving her outside with the chickens for several weeks now and she's not doing anything she likes them it gives her something to do so play away lila play away next i will introduce you to the little puppies but not on this video thank you for stopping by i love you and so does jesus god bless